Hey what's up guys, OSG here with a new series of videos and they are going to be the A to Z of Commodore 64 Hidden Gems. A while ago an Amstrad streamer called Yellowbelly asked me to pick 10 games starting with each letter that I would class as a hidden gem. I too want to do a series on this so I spoke with him and he's a cool guy and he said it's okay for me to go ahead as it will be from a totally different angle because his is from an Amstrad fan's point of view. So what makes a hidden gem? For me it's a game that isn't too well known but delivers a great gaming experience. It doesn't matter what publisher it is, I mean just look at Train which was from Accolade who are a massive publisher but the game was relatively overlooked. I've rated these games in order of greatness and I've given my reasons why. So sit back, relax and hopefully you will find some new games to play in this series, starting today with games beginning with A. So let's kick it off with Alien World in 10th place. This is a totally unique underrated shoot em up with some great graphics. I love the way that the main character flies and walks which I can't think of another shooter on the C64 like that. One thing that is missing is a good Sid soundtrack roll as the sound effects get a bit tiresome after a while. Next up in 9th place is Arachnophobia. Yes, I know this may be well known as the movie was massive, but although I've played the Amiga version, I never knew it was out on the C64, and more so how good it is. You play the John Goodman character from the movie, trying to eradicate the town of the killer spiders. That's it though, and it's the same over and over, so what this game gains in gameplay is lost in how repetitive it is, but it's still worth a play though. Eighth place is taken by Arctic Shipwreck. This is an early game from Commodore, and as with a lot of games from that software house, it's basic, like really basic. But also, like most Commodore games, the emphasis is on unique gameplay, and this definitely has that. It's a super fun balancing game, as you play the part of a woolly mammoth trying to balance an iceberg full of shipwreck survivors until help comes. Abyss from Kingsoft is in 7th place. This is a super cool parallax scrolling puzzle game that has great Sid music. It's a really in-depth puzzle role with loads of things to be done and loads of rules that if not followed will end up in a quick demise. Once more so though, this game can entertain for a long time. If you want a puzzle game that's more of a challenge than a chore then this one should sort you right out. Sixth position is taken by Alcazar, a forgotten fortress. This is a top down adventure game which is from Activision, but when they were relatively new to the Commodore scene. Anyway, it's a game where exploring is the key to finding the objects required to complete your mission, while taking on enemies that get in your way. I feel that although it's a good game, it lacks in music, which would have made it a much more enjoyable experience. Tomino is in 5th place. This is one of the best puzzle games I've played on the C64. It's a Tetris like game but one with a difference in that you are constructing modules to a given molecular structure. I will warn you though that it gets frustrating but that's only because it's so challenging. Thank you. 
Fourth place is taken by Another World. This game is often confused with the Delphine Classic, but what we get here is a completely different game, and one that is beautiful and fun to play. It's a run and gun platform game that I can't believe isn't as well known as Terrican etc, as it's a great game and definitely one of the best looking games on the C64. In third position we have Atomics. This is on the same lines as Atomino, as in its molecules, but the gameplay is less Tetris like and more like a slide puzzle. The difficulty ramps up rapidly though and takes some real brain power to figure out. Luckily for us it has some of the best Sid music I've heard to keep us entertained as we go. American 3D Pool is in second place. This is one of my favourite pool games on the C64. The graphics are great, especially in the 3D view. The ball physics are also good, and in two player, this is a really good game. You have the tournament mode too, which your computer steadily gets better as you advance to the final. Definitely worth checking out if you're into these kinds of games. And now, in first place, we have Alice in Wonderland. This is one of the most overlooked C64 games ever, as it's one of the best platform adventure games ever. It is, as you would expect from the title, inspired from the Lewis Carroll books, as you play the part of Alice, who has to solve a variety of puzzles before the Red King wakes up. If there's one game you play from this list, this is it if you haven't played it already, as it's so good. Okay, that's it for the Hidden Gems games beginning with here. Let me know in the comments below if I've missed any that you remember. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. Till next time, this is OSG, signing out.